since you're in Milwaukee right now, I decided to record this video. And yes, I actually got a screwdriver. Uh, it was like three bucks. Their price has never changed. I'm gonna get this wire out of the way so it won't get in the way. So, <laughs> yeah, this makes it a, oops, makes it a bit easier. <laughs> By a long shot. Pull up on these little things. These right here, I have to pull up on in order to get it out of the uh, socket. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm not looking forward to is this. There we go. Oops. It looks fine. So here's the old CPU um, thermal paste. And there's the old thermal paste in there. I don't think you can see it. Probably not. Anyway, I'll just wipe it away. I don't think you'll approve of me wiping it with paper towels. Ooh. That one's pretty clean. Okay. Okay. Now the CPU cooler. It's going to be a bit trickier to do. Okay, I'm getting it off. Put my spit on the paper towel. And there we go. Now, you get to watch me open it. It's in here. <clears throat> Dallas Fort Worth. They came from Dallas. I thought it would come in on Wednesday, but it came days early. Here it is. My Corcel TM30 Thermal Paste. Yeah. So you said a P size of this? I need to be... Calm about this. Oh. I can't read that little paper. Three point eight watts. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh. So do I take shit? <laughs> okay, I guess that was a yes. So get to watch me put it on now. I think that might have been a little bit. Oops, I don't want that there. Shit. <laughs> Because I don't want that getting on the chips. It looks exactly the same as the old uh, thermal paste I had on here. Ugh. I hope this would work would be even better. I'm trying to get it to where it might not get on the actual chip or uh, the motherboard. Okay. I have to make sure the CPU fan cord. Crap. Yeah. Make sure it's on there properly. Ow. Probably not. But. Yeah, it looks like it may be fine. Looks like I might have done it right. As you can see, it might spread a little. I hope that's enough. I think that might be fine. Might be just right. Because it's not going over the edges yet. Which may be a good thing. <laughs> Let me uh, pull them up again. So I'll be able to put it in there properly. 
Ugh, damn it. That's the one thing I don't like about this. Is that it wobbles like that for some reason. Let's see what I can do. Shit. Yeah. Pull it up. Um. Shit. Yeah. I don't like having to do this again. But. It's probably going to be worth it soon. Oh, come on. You went in there fine last night. Let's just tighten it up to see what it does. Okay, yeah, that's good. Shit. Oops. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, it's on there now. But this part, I have to pull down. Yeah. Oops. That wasn't too much of a dodge. Oops. I'm catching it. Don't worry. There we go. That was actually not as hard as I thought. Don't worry, though. Uh,. I managed to catch it before it even hit any of the actual, you know, things down here. So, that's it. I can pause the quick recording. <laughs> so, I, I actually had to pause the recording, which I can do. So, now, I'm powering it up. Let's see how the temps hold out. It went a bit smoother than I actually hoped it would. CMOS checks some error. Yeah. That happens every time I unplug the computer, but... I think the CMOS battery in this is dead, but I could just replace it for like a few bucks. So I'll press F1 to continue. Of course it reboots. Hello. I'm looking down on my laptop screen, so I'm making sure you're going to be able to see this properly. <sighs> yep. Now you get to see me test it out with a certain game. Not Minecraft. I'll do that. I'll do that a bit later. I'm going to do open hardware monitor. Let's see how the temps hold out. I hope it's a bit better now. With the new with the new thermal paste. This could last years upon end. Right now it got as warm as thirty-eight degrees Celsius. You probably won't be able to see that, but it's at the highest it went is thirty-eight when it first booted up. Now I get to test that out. With a floating sandbox. That one is a bit more CPU. Uh, hungry. Oh, there it is. I have it at the start menu down there. 35, 37, 41. So my diagnostics for this computer is uh, old thermal paste, or uh, I'd just say expired thermal paste. 
Other than that, it's perfectly healthy. For an old mother of this, let's see, 43, 41, yeah, looks like the new thermal paste seems to be working, let's, uh, I'm going to load a bigger ship just to test it out better. Yeah, I mean, it was bound to happen on this, Britannic, this one's a bit bigger. And would you look at that. I have it set to where the temps would show on system tray. It So, for now it looks like the thermal paste is doing what it's supposed to. We have a healthy new, or not really new, computer, but we have a healthy looking temperature it's holding on it's holding up to uh, it it's not getting as hot before on the old thermal paste after I took off the CPU cooler to clean it it got as hot as like I don't know 60 then on this game it went up to like 80 degrees Celsius it's like 168 Fahrenheit but like that's with the old ass uh, thermal paste. Right now, looks like it's way, it's like half of that. It's half of that temperature. Trigger lightning. <laughs> it's holding up pretty well. So, my conclusion for this as Dr. PC John, Dr. John PC. <laughs> Expired thermal paste. My prescription. Let me show you my prescription. Replace it with new thermal paste. I have some extra uh, Corsair thermal paste, but I accidentally uh, uh, spilt some. Well, not on the carpet, but I had to put it on a paper towel. So, what I'm going to do now is I have put that little black end on it. I'm going to put it somewhere where I could save it for later. It's not going to work. Yeah, I guess I could put this in my drawer. It's holding it pretty nicely. This game really does, um... GPU may be getting warm. Never mind, it's good. The fans go up automatically. That's pretty good on this. But now, yep, the temperatures are holding up better than they were yesterday. So, now, the thermal paste is doing its job. Thank you, and tell me what you would think, Alex. Or, I might post this up on YouTube too. And for those on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. And I'll see you guys next time on another video. And this is the old Dell, as you saw, from the actual, you know, Doohickey. See you guys later. See ya. Bye.